Ow. Still recording. What's up okay. the pop music in the background, Riley? God damn it, you can hear that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was able to hear it just a little bit. So, hey, so anyway, Riley, uh, so why is today the day? You were talking about that a minute ago, so let me go ahead and get you a hot take, your hot steak on that. Oh, wow, you're starting the right, recording. So I basically, don't know if it's a big shameless plug for him, but here he goes. Here he goes, big shameless plug. Um, so, my show, Large Dish from the Galaxy, my, my, uh, my co host, Andrew, he is known for um, <laughs> r- running through the ladies quite quickly. <laughs> like he, like the flash like, you know like he gets <laughs> just, just like splatter through them like that one speedster did in the boys yes exactly <laughs> like that oh okay okay <laughs> uh, but no he's known for not being able to keep girlfriend for a very long period of time and a while ago i caught wind that one of his ex-girlfriends had listened to and enjoyed the show well, my show? Ever since then, not not the mocast, the large Aww, edition of the galaxy. No one likes me. I mean, I'm me. sure she, I'm sure she would enjoy the mocast. <laughs> she heard it. <laughs> nobody but, likes me. Nobody <laughs> <laughs> but, but I've been trying to for a long time. But tonight is finally night. She's gonna come on the show. And we're gonna have a good time and Andrew's not even gonna be there cause he has to miss this episode so we get to rag on him mercilessly it'll be great <laughs> nice 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 what what do you what do you got uh, what do you have planned out what, what's uh give us a little taste well we're gonna bring in issues obviously obviously and um I just wanna point out that both I and our past kind of co-host Grant have been brought in as issues before but Andrew has yet to be. So you're Perhaps saying that might change. Wink, wink, wink. You might. Have, wink, you know, wink. the last time someone brought a co-host in as a problem, you know, it was funny at the very beginning, but near the end of it, it, it didn't turn out very well. So are, are, are you sure that you want to go down this road? Lest you. Which co-host are you referring to? Well, like you're okay. It was a Maddox joke. I was joking about Maddox. Oh well, no. The, Maddox got brought into like the problem other. on episode one. Yeah, they're completely unrelated. No, come no, on. No, I, I was no. I don't know why you would try to claim that the <laughs> guests are anything like each other? I think you find no. under the law that they are completely distinct entities. No, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. I, I'm not talking about in in form, terms of style. I, I'm talking about like you know like. The, the one co-host brought in the co-host as a problem on one of their shows like you the see, biggest Mo. problem in the you don't you don't you cut me off while i am ex- <laughs> while i'm mosplaining to you okay i do not do not interrupt my mosplanations okay i don't have okay. time i don't i don't you know what you know what I just let's start the show riley i fucking hate you hey hey no fuck what I was going to say <laughs> is that what you don't remember is that Dick brought in Maddox as a problem on episode one, and there were 106 subsequent episodes. So I do not think that was the problem. Well, no, I was trying to make a real, real shabby, very loose. This is the part of the show where I explain my jokes. Uh, no, this, this, <laughs> no, I, I think I, was... I got it, Mo. Oh, uh, yeah. Can you suck that joke for us, Mo. <laughs> But we, we've already established that theoretically, if my show had any similarities to the show Biggest Problem in the Universe, that I am the Maddox. We've already decided this. Oh, okay. So, uh, oh, God. You don't want to be the Maddox, though. You want to be the dick. <laughs> no, or at least I, I know. or at what, least the Asterios or someone, like, someone no, adjacent. what happened like was a... somebody in, in our voice chat when they listened to our show said that Andrew was the dick of the show, and I'm like, well, shit, I guess I'm the Maddox then. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. So before this devolves into another where we talk about Dick and Maddox show, uh, let's go ahead and get the intro out of the way, huh? So, yep. a one, a two, uh, hey, what's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the oh, MoCast. Wow, you skipped it. Uh, 
You didn't do it. Uh, uh, that's because floor. somebody. So, <laughs> welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. <laughs> Joining me today are my two co-hosts. Say hi to uh, Robin. Say hi to Robin. Mom. Hello, I'm the polite one who doesn't interrupt. Mom. And, and also joining me today is freaking Riley. Say hi, Riley. Yeah, that's great. Anyway, hi, so welcome to the MoCast. How you doing? <laughs> Oh, it's, I'm doing so good, Mo. I'm I'll having us for the moment, sun. anyway, Riley. <laughs> I'm walking on sunshine. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so the, the, you know the the show's already hit the freaking bricks. Anyway, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we really don't have too much to talk about. Uh, we're having to reschedule a guest, and then we'll start uh, with the topics I was talking about all on twitter and no one really gave a shit because no one liked it and i was like oh god what am i doing with my life and then i was like fuck that i like my show so i'm just going to keep going even if no one likes my tweets it just makes me sad inside it makes me cry it's like you you people out there you you drive me to drinking all i gotta say about that but anyway like most tweet if he would become an alcoholic <laughs> Yes, I swear to God, I'll do it. I'm, I'm putting a bottle up to my head right now. I'll uncork it. <laughs> I'll uncork it. I fucking swear to God. Anyway, so, yeah. So I got my Trump bucks in today. Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh, our our great president who can do no wrong. Yes, our Ooh. best friend, the friend of the show, he's Donald good. Trump. Yeah. He's a great fucking friend of the show. He's given me a one dollar donation personally. He said, "Here, go buy yourself something pretty, kid." You know, it was. It was a small loan of a dollar. Yes, a very small <laughs> loan of a dollar. You know, and most people in this country, they can't go. You know, they can't come, uh, uh, come into that much money that quickly. You know, so when you get it, you cherish it. Is this rarely coming to you? Look, hey, I take it. I take a dollar. If Donald Trump walked up to me and said, "Hey, kid, here's a dollar. I take it. I'd be happy." You know, yeah, I got, I got an actual, literal Trump buck. Yes, right from the, right, right from the man's hands, a Trump buck. You gotta imagine there's probably some like his Uber... little tiny little hands. His tiny little <laughs> hands. <laughs> his tiny little hands. You know, I, I'm sure. Little Trump hands. I'm sure that there's a Trump fan out there that's like. You know what, Mr. Trump? I got all the money I need right now. But thank you for giving me this autograph piece of check right here. I'm going to go ahead and frame it. I bet you somebody, at least in their fucking, in their household, they have a framed, their framed Trump check for 1200 bucks, Or however m uh, much money it was. You know, because like, you know, Trump signed it personally, every single check. Because he wants to let us know that we are all... In his heart and you know that that makes me sleep better at night quite frankly I don't know about you guys but you know the the, the president have my best intentions in mind you know and you know he's always just a uh, harumping around he's got that sort of sour look on his fucking face like uh, in, in every single uh, uh, presser inter uh, like the little uh, afternoon press little Trump pucker. TV that little pucker that he has every fucking day <laughs> You know, like, I like to think that that's just stress from running the country so successfully. Oh, yeah. Donald Trump, best president, honestly. Honestly. If he had hair, he would he would have lost it all by now. It's so stressful. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like, that's a good point, Robin, because, like, uh, you know, like you can't lose anything you don't have already, right? <laughs> that's true. But, you know, all I know is I downed three fucking packets of Tide Pods, and I'm feeling, like, fucking fresh and clean uh, right now. I don't think COVID can touch me, quite frankly. I think I'm doing pretty well, you know? I'm not I'm not too yeah, sure. I got some, you know what? I, I started feeling a little touch, a little tickle in my nose, but I got some bleach out in the kitchen, and that'll do it right away. Just get rid of it. If you take one of those turkey basters, and you fill it up with <laughs> bleach, Riley, and you shove it up your ass... It's supposed to like really no, no, clean. No, no, no. The, the bleach is for for drinking. You're supposed to put UV light up your ass. Oh, oh I, I wouldn't want to be you then, but I think you should go ahead with that, Riley, because you don't want to get you the Rona. Drink the bleach, UV lights up the ass, and then and then you gotta inject the Lysol, and then you'll be fine. And then you pop down two Tide pods and go to go to bed. Call the doctor so in the morning. The corona will be dead. 
Oh, definitely, much definitely. I think a lot of things will be dead uh, when you <laughs> yeah, finally wake up. Kill the corona. I mean, to be fair, it'll kill the corona. Hmm. I love Trump's statement on that, where he said, "Well, no, that's not what I said at all." Which we Nobody all heard, cares. and it's on the video recording. And he just said, "Like, no, I didn't say it." Oh Nobody my cares God. about Donald Trump. Nobody cares about Donald Trump. You know what world leader we all care about? We all we all have in our hearts right now. Oh God. Who <laughs> is it? Our is it our favorite new favorite North Korean waifu? <laughs> That's exactly what I was about to bring up. Dear God, <laughs> North... <laughs> dictator waifu. She's, oh. I don't think she's in our hearts, but she's in one of our heads. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh, she's about to be in in lots of hearts <laughs> and lots of heads. Right. Yeah. <laughs> in in a, you know in a little bit here because. Fucking fatty Magoo, <laughs> fucking dipshit. Nuclear mommy. Yeah, that, that fucking living weeble wobble of a fucking quote unquote man, Kim Jong Un. Uh, you know, he he lived terribly like all of his life. Don't speak ill of the dead, man. I I neither say to you, that. Neither of you laughed at Nuke Me Mommy, and I'm very upset about it. I didn't I hear was that. Gloss over that one, but. I guess, we can, uh, I guess we can call back to it, sure. Oh, okay, okay. I, I I haven't heard that one yet, but all I know is that uh, Azula from the fucking the the fire the Fire Nation bitch from Avatar: The Last Airbender, oh, she's yeah. been posted fucking everywhere, and so you know, like everyone's already been like, you know, this reminds me of that time that that Russian chick, the the Russian officer. Uh, was uh, I think it was in 2010 2011 and uh, everyone got f hyper fucking focused on her because she was kind of hot and but you know that was just uh, it's it's weird how people focus Is on the Prime Minister of Ukraine oh no she's she's very uh, if that's the one I'm thinking about the the tall blonde woman she was yes. she's actually very very beautiful but I if, isn't she in prison or something like that one of them went to jail I don't know. I don't know what happened to her after 4chan stopped posting pictures of her and swooning over her. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do 4chan fucking falls in love and then falls into a total fucking psychotic hatred with, like, literally hours of each other. It's fucking crazy. But, yeah. 4chan is very complicated emotionally and you shouldn't, uh, you shouldn't attack it for it. Oh, you know, yeah, but I'd rather, yeah, I mean, personally, I'd rather just attack Reddit all day, every day. But that's just me. <laughs> but at least Reddit, well, I don't know. Bro, I've got so much Reddit karma, man. Oh uh, see, th th that's what I fucking hate about this site, you know? It's like, it used to be, for me, a lot of fun. But then, what well, the mistake I made was I, I, I left the, the, the few niche little, uh, uh, subreddits that I used to go to, right? Like my wrestling, my my uh, uh, news stuff, and and I got too deep into the politics of it all, and I got too deep into the fandoms uh, on on Reddit. And after after you're spoiled, you can't get unspoiled to everything, you know. Like once the site spoils on you, there's just no like reviving it. It's just everything gets contaminated and everything turns to shit. And then the fucking moderators and the owners started doing global sweeping changes uh, to the site. And that was a real shame because it, I kind of feel that a lot of the uh, the implementations, uh, the, the other stuff that, and quite frankly, I don't remember exactly which ones. Because, like, I stopped paying attention to Reddit, like, in 2014 or 15. But after they changed it, they did all the sweeping changes back in those days, it really sort of ruined the site for me. That and if you don't have enough upvotes, like total upvotes on your account, you have to do a 10 minute fucking pause in between posts on uh, different uh, uh, subreddits that you go to. And it fucking sucks, man, because it makes polite and casual conversations super fucking impossible. Because I know that I'm going to forget my point in about 10 minutes, and you need to let me, like, say my piece right then and there or else I'm going to go fucking batshit. Go ahead. Alright everybody. It's time. It's 
time for the best the new segment on the mocast the best segment you'll ever hear <laughs> live on the show new, new mocast segment let's compare reddit karma cow <laughs> <laughs> I refuse to do this on grounds that I hate fucking Reddit. What's and- Reddit Mo? Karma, Riley? Mo, what's your Reddit karma? I want Mo to go play. Oh my dear fucking god. I hate you so goddamn much, Riley. <laughs> I'm just gonna get my fucking phone because I have this stupid Reddit app on my fucking phone because like every once in a while like Dick or somebody will like go, Wow, that was really funny there on that Reddit page and I hate Reddit like when it's in the in phone browser so just like it's just it, it'll just behoove you to just get the fucking app and I have two messages and I haven't been on here in a while oh too much info not enough info blah 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 well what, what the what's, the, what's that karma count yeah uno mo mento for favor uno mo mento mo mento Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, uh-oh. Well, I might have to look this up then since, you know, my apologies, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know that I was going to be doing like a, 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 a Reddit thing. every week and you're screwing it up. Well, excuse me. This is all lies. I. <laughs> you are now logged in. You seem to be directed. Okay, so far, my post karma is 12. And my comment karma oh. is five. Yeah. You beat that, Riley? And my last post I... was six months ago. Wait, your karma's five? Si, senor. Okay. My, you, you got your karma ready, Robin? I do. All right, what's your karma? Riley, I hate you so much. My post karma <laughs> is 2,867. Oh my god! Comment karma is 1,697. Wait, is there separate karmas? Wait, where do I find the separate karmas? There's karma for your posts and karma for your comments. All I see is my individual karma. There should be two different types of karma. it It just says karma and then the number. Huh. Well, anyway, either way, Robin has his beat because my karma is 239, so Mo is far in last place, followed by me, and then skyrocketed uh-huh. first place by Robin. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's 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 really nice, you know. I don't really care. Oh, my dear God. What? Oh, just, like, because I had to go fucking... Uh, because I had to go check out fucking uh, uh, Reddit... This is the first thing that I'm seeing here. And I'm going to go ahead and explain it for those who are watching uh, this show, you know, through the audio. So I guess you'd be listening. But, ow, 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 fuck, that's loud. So there's this, there was this uh, rapper, right? He dropped a hot track in everyone's socially relevant, fav- favorite socially relevant game, Fortnite. And so there was this dude oh that God. just, so he just built up to this guy's fucking crotch. And it's just this massive fucking cock shot. So, you know, y'all y'all go ahead and enjoy that then. Enjoy the image of a giant fucking rapper's dick. I'm so happy. All in your face. Excited. All in your face, bitch. Wow. So happy. Yeah, so... So thank you for, like, springing your fucking uh, little new news bit. Because the first thing I get to see is just like someone's massive V do- E dong, just all, all yeah. Welcome on my to face. The, welcome, welcome to the MoCast Reddit episode. Today we're talking about Reddit. <laughs> all right, let's go browse Reddit, guys. Let's see. It's <laughs> <laughs> the best episode we've done in a long time. It's pretty good. Best. Uh, yeah. You enjoying this episode so far, Mo? Oh, I'm so loving excited. this episode so far, man. It's, it's fucking great. You know, like, like what I, well, you know, what I love doing is just talking about Reddit all day, yeah, every that's, day. That's the topic. It's just the topic of this episode is Reddit. I was going to talk about my Trump bucks and what I'm going to be doing with my Trump bucks. We can 
talk about how you're going to spend your <laughs> Trump bucks on a Reddit coin or whatever. No, like you, Reddit I will never, <laughs> ever give even a fucking penny. I will not give any money if it ever goes to Reddit. Like if Salvation Army was all like, for just $5, Mo, you can stop COVID-19. But, you know, this, thank you so much. All right. Hey, what's this sponsored by? I can't really see. Is this like, oh, it's uh, sponsored by this website called Reddit. Don't you yeah, recognize Mo, We the... all know it's bullshit when you say you can't afford this sub. We know you can afford this but sub. Mo. You just don't want to. <laughs> hey, first off, Mo, you know. Mo. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, uh, let me oh, go ahead. Oh, you go ahead. Mo. Oh, you Mo. go ahead. It's fine. It's fine. You go ahead. <laughs> Mo, you just got twelve hundred dollars, and for just a fraction of that, for just one hundred dollars, you could get forty thousand Reddit coins. See, see, I, I, I can't, I, I can't even really say. Imagine all the news you could influence with those Reddit coins. Imagine oh. all the twenty-two platinums or eighty golds you could give. Oh, if I had a time machine, imagine me going back in time and like just uh, suppressing all those pro Bernie Sanders fucking stories and just like raising the Joe Biden ones up. Imagine me actually doing that. That's another. Imagine thing. how many Everyone times you give somebody you, huh? gold and they're gonna say thanks for the gold, kind stranger. Imagine how many times. Oh man, that. I can get so much internet fucking famous fame out. <laughs> Famiosity. <laughs> wow, five upvotes. I can't believe this got so much attention. Thanks, guys. Oh, yeah, dude, you're but this close from going viral. And, you know, like, not just wow, say... silver? I've never gotten silver before. I don't know what to say. Thanks for the silver, kind stranger. Okay, uh, <laughs> un un unironically, what the fuck is Reddit silver? <laughs> you see, Mo. It's the version of Reddit gold. Ugh. It was a, it was a meme where people were like... Oh, I don't have money to get you gold, so here's a picture of, like, a shitty silver medal. And then they actually made it a thing, because that's always funny, right? When when they turn a joke into a real thing, and then uh, it's not a joke anymore. Yeah, just, like, embracing the meme. God, I, I kind of hate it when, like, you know, it's like the Pokemon Go to the polls. That that sort of, like, that cancer. You know, like, I hated that. That's the best. Oh, That no. made me want to vote for Hillary Clinton if I could have voted. That would have been uh, you the know what, deciding factor. You know which one I love and, and hear love as in totally fucking loathe and despise? It is like Hillary Clinton? No. no. I mean, kind of, but you know, oh, that, that's Mo not Disney really... does not despise Hillary Clinton. It's confirmed on the MoCast. Oh, it's like, she's largely irrelevant anyway, so it's like, I, I hate having to fucking spend so much time on people that that are trying to obviously influence the fucking uh, the current election and we're all here going you know we really need you to shut up for a little bit so we can figure some shit out because this dude's getting you know you know what that's that's another tangent for another fucking day uh what the fuck were we talking about because now i got off on some fucking separate tangent and i had to stop myself from going on that uh, we we're talking about reddit silver right Yes, we're talking about Reddit, the topic of this today's MoCast, Reddit. Uh, I fucking hate Reddit. <laughs> uh. Uh, take a shot every time you hear me say I fucking hate Reddit. Or any iteration of that. Yeah, but how else do you find porn? Well, I could just Google that, or I could just Bing that. Bing gives you better pornography options. No, 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 no. Options. there's something special about the subreddits, come on. I'm, uh, I'm subscribed to every subreddit imaginable that contains. Nah, no, nah, honestly, dude, I, I've, uh, I, I, I get a little skittish when I see those like uh, those body shots, but with the head cut off, and then oh like you're you're looking at that like, oh man, she's pretty hot, huh? And then you she move looks... that camera up, and she's just like got horse teeth. No, fucking... no, no, no. See that I can deal. Yeah. How old is she? Yeah, exactly. Oh, no! Exactly. See, I can deal with the horse teeth stuff, like, cause you know, like, it's all about who who you're attracted to, and uh, you know, there's tens for everybody. Um, but it's the one. Once the question of age enters my mind, I fucking bug out there. Like, I'm like, I I I would run. Like, if I were in Jared Fogle's fucking house. Now, Mo, a lot of the Gone Wild subreddits require, like, ID and face verification to the mods. So even if they don't want to post their face on the Gone Wild subreddits, they have been verified as, as being of age. 
See, I tried to just look never, for- Just never, just never trust body shots your friends send you of random women, because they will trick you. It's happened to me. Oh, oh yeah, uh, dude, like, uh, that's why I don't fucking browse Bean anymore, because, at, well, it used to be after kids got off of school, but now it's just 24-7. But I, I got really tired of uh, going to be in like three threads down. Hey guys, want to see some nudes? N O O D Z of my hot G F, and it's obvious my that she's under eighteen. Yeah. And like, so I, I fucking book it out of there, man. Like I was saying, if I were in Jared Fogel's house, Run. and I saw like, hey, you want to see? Oh, you shouldn't have saw that. I'd fucking book it out of there so fast. Well, we glossed over Riley saying that he's gotten body shots, and when did you turn eighteen <laughs> again, Riley? B -b 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 body shot. <laughs> last week. Oh, you turned eighteen last week. So within the week, you've gotten body shots, huh? Oh, of course. Nobody's sending an underage child body shots, right? Uh, of course not. All right, all right, Riley. <laughs> See, like now this conversation, like I'm starting to sweat a little bit. <laughs> And I'm like, uh... <laughs> I made an I made a joke, and then Robin's got to take it to a legal area. Well, I'm just I'm just wondering how how uncomfortable can I get it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, you're only 18 recently, and you've had this wait pornography in your possession for how long, kind sir? Hmm. I don't have it in my possession at all. Man, wouldn't that, it. wouldn't that be like some shit, right? Like you're like a week older than your girlfriend and you turn 18 a week before they do. And that's just like the week their, mo their mom and dad just gets pissed off at you. And so they rat you off to the fucking pigs and they fucking label nah, you. Nah, they, they have laws. There's Romeo and Juliet shit. laws. Yeah. There is like, cause like, I don't know. I, I've heard some yes. horror. I've heard some real bad horror stories. Uh, about about that, you know, like uh, they can still go to the police and like tell them like, keep this person off of our property. So like, yeah, if their parents I've don't heard, like, you, like, fuck off. No, I've heard the Romeo and Juliet laws in Florida at least are like extremely loose. Well, you can't like go to someone's house if they tell you not to go to their house. Like if the parents like, say like, like you can't come here, then like you can't. The age buffer era area is sixteen through twenty four, <laughs> and now Robin's gone. Oh, she's back. Now Robin's back. You're all I'm back. Yeah, the age buffer for the Romeo and Juliet laws in Florida, or so people tell me, is 16 through 24. So as long as you fall within that age range, you're good. I can't imagine, like, why they'd have anything a a above 18, though. Oh, no, that's, that's how uh, much of a difference you can date. The back and forth of it. No, I yeah, think like, like it, it basically means in Florida, 16 is legal as long as you're 24 or, or younger. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. <laughs> oh, okay, Whoa. okay. Oh, like, hey. yeah, all right. That, that just uh, like I thought about it indifferently for a second. I was like, wait a minute, is that? Let's the, get oh. back to Reddit. Um, oh, oh, well, yeah. That that's that's fucked. Really, Jesus. Connecticut lays it out pretty, like, you know, uh, 13 can go up to 15, or, like, 15 can go to, like, 13, you know? Uh, f like, 15 can go up to 7, it's like two-year gaps, you know? Starting at 13 is when sex is allowed. Well, you okay. can drink if you're a kid when you're, if you can reach the bar in France, so. <sighs> alright, alright, so, Reddit. Um, Reddit. Uh, if any of you browse the subreddit r slash ask reddit <laughs> I've never heard of it can you please describe it to me really <laughs> yes yes please I was taking a vape while you were before I found see, out that you were asking a question see, see r slash ask reddit is a sub popular subreddit in which a person will post a question and redditors can answer said question either anonymously or with their account and it's real funny sometimes and people Have make videos you guys ever it. browsed the subreddit r slash rage comics i think they're really funny rage no, comics? i've never seen that Th those are the ones that oh, they're going Th that one yeah oh yeah yeah me uh, gusta, see, my friend i i fucking love all right see i used to love the shit out of that i used to be like big big into to reddit culture like i've even like uh been to a couple of reddit meetups back when i was like 
super super oh my god well no oh no there, there's god. okay uh poor mo forever alone <laughs> well i mean not all the time not those days but because i used to be able to get with a couple of people hey anyway you know what shut up anyway uh no like back in the day i used to be like super super progressive and super democrat and like you know like when i was uh what went wrong oh what what went wrong uh like honest to god i'll give you an actual answer instead of my usual dickhead answer um <laughs> Like uh, well, I, you are I didn't... a dickhead. You're on the dickheads podcast, season four. Riley, I swear to God. <laughs> <sighs> anyway, so uh, you know what happened was back in 2008, I was really, really stumping hard for uh, uh, the Democrats, right? And I was wanting to give Obama a shot, uh, but uh, what the, the the problem? wasn't Obama at first. That comes later. What comes now, though, are all the people that I was in activist groups with, like several fucking anti-war groups, uh, a 9-11 truth group, which, by the way, never go to the fucking 9-11 truther meetings. I learned the hard way. Uh, it sounds very democratic and progressive. Well, no, it, it like, the, well, this is back in, like, the, uh, the, the mid to late 2000s, though, like, uh, Texas liberal sort of means libertarian, <laughs> you know, so like we're, we're all about like guns, pot and, you know, politics and, and hot chicks. Even the chicks are into hot chicks, you know, back in those days. And so we were all just like chilling out and it, it started uh, uh, with, with the truther group. It was uh, little things like here and there, like, you know, there was like this one, like uh, we went to go get like some uh, like a bagel, right? And it was like, ooh, they really jewed me on this. It was like little jabs here and there until I woke up and I have like three fucking emails from the head of the truther group, right? Because I, I thought that maybe he was just being an edgelord, but I woke up to three emails that are eight hours of Holocaust denial videos, uh, why the Holocaust never happened, uh, World War II, the Nazis weren't how as to bad. Bake a chocolate chip cookie. Oh uh, yeah, how to oh, bake a chocolate? Yeah. Like I'm like, fucking Christ, what the shit? And then, what 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 frightened me was it was an email chain, so I got like three fucking people saying see Kyle, in the fucking email chain, ah. and I got like amen brother, a, a bunch like almost the entire fucking group, so. I right, guys, like, we got another new segment on the mocast. No, no. Each bus, we gotta go around the horn yeah. and say seek hell. Okay, no, no, no. We're absolutely not doing that. <laughs> FBI, CIA, anyone who's listening to this, I we are not a part. We are not affiliated with any hate groups whatsoever. <laughs> I'm renaming this. I'm renaming this spot. Or what lists are you on? <laughs> uh, but I like I I. I'm on all of them. See, when I went to those groups. I came under the uh, the the sort of the olive branch and peace uh, uh, the peace sign of hey man lots of the fucking feds are infiltrating these fucking groups and uh, they're making you say and do stupid shit and I think I might have been in one of those or man and I this sure is, do hate oh, black people am I right I really want yeah to kill it, it was it, it was it was shit <laughs> like that like a like it would be. It would be other conversations that other people were having, but I wouldn't be a part of. I would just be like listening because I like I listen a lot, and so people start fucking like dropping those little red flag words because I, I know how to spot a fucking Nazi or some sort of racial supremacist, right? Because obviously I don't want to be on some sort of fucking watch list because that's don't your you fucking guys hate yeah, not, not because it's a dangerous ideology or offensive or anything because you don't want to be in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> well, or, I mean, I, I think it should be I, like, okay, like for real, I, I think it should be implied that, that I, I really do. I like, I shouldn't like, you know, I, oh, okay, okay, okay. You know, it's just like, you know where I'm coming from. Obviously, I disavow. This is absolute, oh obviously, this is absolute gold mine for out of context Riley quotes. That's, people could destroy me. With this I ain't thinking stuff. about you at all. I'm like admitting like what I was formerly a part of, sort of accidentally. 
you know, like, like, dude, I, I grew up where the fucking clan was in my fucking town, and the bastards, thanks to just time, time oh, sort of. Oh, the cool of... kids clan, the KKK, the, the cool kids. Yes, clan. Riley. Krispy yes. Club. Oh, okay, the Krispy Kreme Cream Club. Yeah, that. But nah, man. It, like, it used to be. It used to be some weird times. It was weird to to live in a multicultural town, but still have that hate group in the fucking town. Luckily though, most of them fucking died because they lived poorly and were shitheads. And uh, time died sort of, jail. or died in jail. There was a couple that got, uh, you, like you could tell the, the Breaking Bad stereotypes are totally true. <laughs> the ones who looked real disheveled uh, have fucking large bags under their eyes. There was a few busts like that back in my day uh, that had something to do, like they'd have little fucking Nazi fucking swastikas, fucking you could tell it was done in prison. Confederate flag. Yeah, Confederate flags and stuff, shit like that. But um, uh, yeah, man. Uh, uh, so I, I I started sweating real fucking bad because my heart is fucking bumping. Like, dude, am I on a fucking watch list now? Because like, th there's all sorts of laws, uh, that talk about uh, hate crimes and stuff like that. And of course, I don't want to uh, run afoul of any of them. So, about an hour later, I I I, uh, I emailed yeah, him, I, I emailed him back and said, "Hey man, uh, I'm I think this uh, uh, email got compromised. I think someone's like watching me because I'm having stuff like weird disappeared. Like I put on the biggest fucking tinfoil hat I could think of, just so they wouldn't like." Because I don't know if these people want to run down. by my... Joe said that the chemicals in the water were making the frogs gay. See, that I can <laughs> deal with all day, every day. I was like, okay, <laughs> you think the frogs are turning gay. But all right, so, like, but but you don't hate, like, you don't... Yeah, think... I, haven't, I haven't showered in two years because the fluoride comes <laughs> through, and I don't want to turn into to a gay person. Ugh. A gay frog, specifically. I'll I only eat frog. watered mountain spring water, like bottled mountain spring water. That's the only water I'll ever drink because I don't want to come out of the Mountain spring water turns you straight. It's... Yeah. <laughs> all right, I'll be honest here. Some fucking mountain spring water would say it tastes so good right now. <laughs> uh, anyway, anyway, so yeah, I emailed. You gotta them. wash away the gay with Mo. Well, no, we're not washing away the. Just, just don't, 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 don't. <laughs> I don't want to have to edit anything. All right, come on. Anyway, so, so anyway, uh, yeah, I, I, everything out. At least just keep the clips of Riley saying, just you know, like he hates black people and. You know, oh, oh, yeah, that, that's like, that's that going to be. I, I think that's going to be this week's dedicated clip. That I'll put up on bit shoot and YouTube and stuff. Like I hate black people. Like holy shit. Just delete the cold open and use like clips of me saying to, that I hate black, black people and I hate together. gays. He said it. <laughs> oh, but anyway, so I, I I made the email, and I said, hey, I'm shutting down this thing, and he goes, all right, brother, you want me to come pick you up later on for the meeting? He goes, oh, I can't make it. I gotta work late, and uh, I, I fucking blocked everyone and fucking uh pretended that i wasn't living there anymore <laughs> at my house anymore like dude that that shit gets you fucking scared that'll get your heart bumping man and and I, i've been in fucking apartment complexes where there's fucking like you know like actual gangs and shit like i've been in some some bad fucking neighborhoods and anyone who's ever had a fucking set forth in like a fucking hood or or like a, a fucking meth den or some shit, and and they're they're not there to do any of that. You're just fucking in a bad place right now because your your buddy's a fucking dumb shit. And I have a lot of dumb. I used to have a lot of dumb shit, fucking friends. Uh, yeah, man, that that'll make you a fucking heart thump, man. <clears throat> I mean, you're friends with me, so you still have a lot of dumb friends. Well, uh, assuming yeah, that you're kind of dumb. Yeah, they're not that kind of dumb. And it's the kind of dumb that you don't realize until, like, you're in the middle of the shit. And then you're like, oh, this is going to be a fucking joy to, to, oh, to, to no. get out of. Like, oh, this is this is no es bueno. I, I thought we were just talking about. Oops. <laughs> like, and it, yeah, like it's... the kind of people you hang out with and they're, they're like, yeah, like, I really wanted some, like, heroin. So, you know, I, there's, <laughs> there's like four or five guys coming over right now to, to the place we're at. And we're like, oh, you just don't. Nope. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. I'm gonna I... go hide in the other room. Just you do your deal out there. I'm, I'm just gonna. gonna... Consume oh, I'm dude. gonna go lock myself in the bathroom. You deal with the four guys coming. Oh, that that fucking happened to me like some years ago. I was with my buddy, and we were gonna go pick up some grain, right? 
And so we're just fucking sitting there talking and he goes, all right, man. Um, so we're about to have a bunch of people come over here. We're about to do a bunch of glass. So uh, unless you want some, which is cool. I'm like, uh, no, no, I, I don't want to be around a bunch of meth head fucking weirdo douchebags. Thanks for the weed and w- allowing me to watch fucking Thanks for the weed. And to watch fucking squid billies with you. I'm gonna go ahead and walk home now. You Who know, would like, watch that? Who would watch Squid Billies? Ironically, I, I would watch Squid Billies. Ironically, I fucking love that show. Mo, I, I present to you the Clown Award. The, you, you, you get the clown. Bitch, your fucking face is a clown. Don't Fuck be. you. I fucking love Squid Billies, bitch. <laughs> you can't. You can't hang with Squid Squid Billies. You punk. Just go watch Aqua Teen Hunger Force. Yeah, that's just as good too. That's one of my that's other favorite Chad shows. Show. Oh yeah, Chad, Chad's master shake. <laughs> the virgin squid Billy from the Chad. <laughs> oh my God, yes, yes. <laughs> Even though if Earl fucking her early fucking heard you saying that, he'd blow your head off. <laughs> it was like, uh, I'm sorry, what you say here? I'm a virgin. Woo! Mm. All right, Danny, let me have a turn. Do not touch the trim. <laughs> God. Uh, Mexican raccoons come over here to st- steal American raccoons' jobs. <laughs> oh God, the the oh. fucking border wall episode of Squid Billies w- was fucking great. He had gorillas. Is Squid throwing... Billy still going? I don't know, actually. I highly doubt it. <laughs> yeah, Tim and Eric need all the fucking funding from every show. From their to, to run their piece of shit shows and you know get Sam Hyde fucking fired and and anyone else fucking fired and uh, uh, it's why I don't like oh his shit. Oh my god, it's still running. It's still running, no shit. Oh my god. That's good. Good for them, man. Good for them. I'm glad the sh- uh, the the show's a hit. Is a new season coming? It says it. the last time it aired was September. My dreams are all It says good. October 16th, 20, uh, 2005 to present, so I mean... Oh, so. shit, yeah, the show okay. was renewed for a 13th season. Oh, oh. Sometimes I wish the sun would just It's Adult Swim's longest-running series. No shit. That's Until nice, that's nice. Until it gets nice. cancelled and then gets beaten by Brick and Morty. Well, Brick and Morty... <laughs> Did you say and brick and Morty? Did you say brick and Morty? Because I thought you heard you. No, say... I said Rick and Morty. The, the, oh, it's their the longest running company. series in terms of seasons. Uh, in terms of years, it's Venture Bros, and in terms of episodes, it's Robot Chicken. Yeah, that's nice, why nice. I was thinking about Robot Chicken. Like, yeah. Robot Chicken has the most episodes, and then Venture Bros ran the longest number of years, but Squid Billies has had the longest number of seasons. That's good. I fucking love Venture Brothers. Venture Brothers is one of my favorite fucking shows. Because I've never seen Venture Brothers. Oh, buddy, uh, you're really in for a treat. Uh, start with season one and just go up to current. All right. Uh, yeah, man, but I, I, I totally recommend Venture Bros, uh, you know, Squid Billies, and uh, what was the other one that was running? Aqua Teen Hunger Force? Well, of course, Aqua Teen Hunger Force in Sea Lab 2021, which 2021 is either the year that because like you know like I I, I I see I try to see signs or omens in some things right. If 2021, mm-hmm. that's that's my year. It, that's either the year that I fucking start getting rich and start making a name for myself, or it's the year I fucking die tragically. Like it's it's got to be one of those, and I'm fucking staying inside on my birthday, the Fourth of July, Thanksgiving, and Christmas, because all other times aren't you know they don't mean anything. But yeah, what are you that, that's about just Fourth of July for. We're well, to be because out it's Monday. well, no, I, I'm talking about next year, Dingus. Oh, okay. So. I guess that's implying that the quarantine was going to go until July. I would have had to kill you right there on the spot. Well, you know, you need to yell at Mr. Trump, good sir, because it's not my goddamn (laughs) fault. If I had my way, I think at least Texas would be out by now. Yeah, Texas would have been out by now. And at least a few other flyover states that 
didn't really get hit that hard would have been done with this quarantine bullshit. Oh, by the way, I did some fun quarantine tweeting today. Oh, well, uh, okay, so define fun. <laughs> fun is in, um, I, I heard that the Florida beaches were opening and that some people weren't happy. So I just searched the term Florida beach on Twitter and started replying. <laughs> Oh, that's 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 one of my favorite things to do. Like I did that all fucking day uh, with the orcs bullshit, because like some <laughs> some idiot, like every once in a while they get it in their they get it in their craw that orcs are somehow a representation of quote unquote. Here's a word I fucking hate: uh, uh, minorities, you know, or like non-blank people. You know, like, come on, like, have you people grown up already? I just, I think that's an offensive term. In, I mean, in my did you opinion. read Tolkien? Oh uh, yeah, I, I, I've read Lord of the Rings and all that. I know he's... the orcs were literally caricatures of black people. Like that was. <laughs> well, all right, so uh... we, we don't really have to make them in a care. They're those caricatures, though. I mean, I think we've evolved since Tolkien. But that's where and... orcs came from. Well, now we've D &D unmade them. Come... All of their races from from Tolkien. Oh well, we can we can just like flip the script and just not have that anymore. We don't have to. I mean, like it's it's too late to make other races and replace them. I mean, who where who do we replace orcs with? No, but it's still the the history of like writing writing them off as like oh the the savages. Well, yeah, I mean, so I I understand that, but like of course times are much much different from Tolkien's time to our time like I certainly don't think of like racial caricatures uh, uh, well, there's it, been the age old question in, in D&D of like um, if you're a lawful good paladin who's like sworn your oath to God or to one of your, whatever God you follow your lawful good God um, and, and you kill like an orcish baby are you still lawful good? Are you still a paladin? I don't think so because that baby was innocent and it obviously did not have uh, any weaponry and was zero threat to you whatsoever. But in the in the eyes of Gygax, I'm I'm fairly certain that is you're still a lawful good paladin. You killed an orc; they're they're not a person to him. Like that's well, that's if you have that sort of bigotry, though. Are you playing this character as a bigot? Or as like, are you going to get be actual lawful good? Because the well, lawful I'm saying good... from D and D's roots. Well, yeah, it, but... it would have been you're still lawful good. Well, yeah, but we don't have to play that side anymore, though. I mean, we can choose to be, you know, disgusting people, but we can also we can revamp characters no problem within our and to fit our purview, you know. And there's nothing. No, I agree. I think the whole the, the orcish discussion was more of a like reflection on the history of the orcs rather than like how we should be the orcs today it was more like yeah the orcs like the, the orcish race that we have comes from some pretty racist roots well yeah, yeah of man, course orcs. well yeah uh, of course like I i'm willing to admit that 100 percent. i mean everything has like a sordid terrible fucking history but i mean what, what, what do i what do i do keep like you know harping on that i mean it just doesn't feel like i'm gonna go uh, or, or not going where um, I don't feel like there's going to be a solution ultimately that no that I just think the people on Twitter that were going like well well by comparing the orcs to black people you are the true racist hang on give well, me a sec well there, there are a few well actually oh well I, god I hate those people uh, <laughs> alright so like I was going all day with that shit too but I was also going against the people who refused to uh, uh to grow up a little bit and to see that people do not fucking think like that and i i really hate it that those are a lot of those types of people too are the ones who are like well how many black friends or non-white friends do you have and i am of the mind of dude if you know how many non-white friends you have or you're you have specific numbers <laughs> I think He's you're counting. the racist, you know, like, because that's fucked up, you know. I, I'm I'm here for my friends and junk. You I know? have at least five black friends. Like, dude, why are you counting? <laughs> that 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 blows my fucking mind. And yeah, we should erase. Well, I mean, I mean, you can. Uh, well, erase. What do you do if you erase history, though? You're going to end up repeating it eventually. And then that begs the age-old question, well, who's in charge or 
uh, writing history and do we allow people to rewrite history at their whim and so that's that's the scary part for me you know at least uh, that's that's my thought uh, thought process on the whole thing and there were a few so people, there were a few oh, well, one sec there were a few people who were uh uh, uh, doing uh, like uh, they, they were making the point that Robin was making a few minutes ago, but th there's ironically and then unironically, I think. Anyway, fuck, I'm thirsty. I should have drank all my water. See, I actually, I have to run out. Oh, okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and just uh, cut this episode short then. Um, cause, hey, uh, I was going to read my quarantine oh, oh, plot. Alright, 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 I'll dip out and then you guys can keep going, that's fine. I, I cool. didn't expect to have to run out. But... No, no problem. Robin, do you have anything you want to hawk? Yep, you can find me on Twitter, at Inside Alloy, and then you can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Inside Alloy. Alrighty. Alright, you stay safe. Take care of yourself out there, huh? Alright, peace out. Peace out. All right, Riley, let's go ahead. Uh, go ahead and tell so us your story. This all starts with, with true American hero, Daniel Olfelder, <laughs> on Twitter. The true the true hero. He, he tweets out, many of you... Okay, so I guess they've been ta he's been talking about how opening the beaches was a bad idea. And he said, many of you have asked if i am willing to travel around florida wearing grim reaper attire to the beaches and other areas of the state opening up prematurely the answer is absolutely yes beginning may 1st we will hit the road here in state please retweet and spread the word see i fucking <laughs> love I that i love the shit out of that idea that's fucking funny <laughs> I responded, maybe I'll see you there. Looking forward to it, wink. Oh, dear God. <laughs> Do you get a picture with that then, guy? I think that would be a lot of fun. That'd be great. But, um, so here's another one. Just some, some guy making a meme because he thinks he's funny. People in Florida on the beach right now, and it's people playing volleyball, but the volleyball is coronavirus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> And I, I say, this is like when I got like real upset. I was like, haha, isn't it funny that people don't want to be locked in their house forever? Idiots, am I right? <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to be real, real happy when all this fucking bullshit's over. All right, Riley. And then, well, I'm not Go bad. ahead. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You, you paused <laughs> long enough to where I thought you were done. I was letting That's you talk because you were talking. Oh, we got we got Lil Lil Duval, who's verified, so I guess they're famous in some way. <laughs> Says Florida just opened up the beaches, and y'all said we crazy. Georgia opened up everything, and people okay with it? I just respond, I'm glad they did, and wish everywhere else would follow suit. Nice, nice, nice. Then there's another verified account, Mr. Joshua Frank, who tweets. This is not Florida and is happening right now in Huntington Beach, California, left, and Salt Creek Beach, Salt Creek Beach, right, both in Orange County. Insanely, they aren't breaking the law. Numbers jumped this week. California averaged 1,692 new cases and 80 deaths per day. And his pictures of, like, you know, people on beaches having a good time. That's, that's fucking and, nothing. You know, just, that's fucking nothing. I just no, respond. That's... That's the when we kill we have more people dead from fucking automobile accidents a fucking day. Yeah, I just respond, hell yeah, California, enjoy some fresh air at the beach. Good, good, good. Like, oh no, oh, seventeen then... new cases in a state of millions. No, N O O O, please, no. Oh fuck you. And then and then good old this guy, this big brain Thomas Kane on Twitter has it all figured out. <laughs> USA had 37,000 hashtag Trump virus cases yesterday. God, they're reaching so far. <laughs> Hold on, I lost it because I was DM'd and it brought me back to the top of my tweet. USA had 37,000 hashtag Trump virus cases yesterday. Countries who acted rapidly slash aggressively to kill virus included China, 10 cases yesterday. South Korea, 8 cases. Austria, 77 cases. Norway, 23 cases. Australia, 75 cases. 
Trump called it a hoax. Florida and Georgia opened beaches. And I just respond, Trump virus LMAO clown emoji. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just fucking insane, man. They're they're really reaching hard to to put uh, put this all on fucking Trump's head, like dude, you, whatever, fuck you. Like none of these people, uh, every single person that who's complaining, has no idea of what to do. They they fucking don't. Not Madonna, not in, not anyone in Hollywood, not anyone on the fucking Twitter sphere. None of them have any other ideas. In fact, the only two people that I would fucking want to have my back are fucking Trump or Bernie Sanders because fucking Sanders is the only one uh, who who basically tanked his own campaign his own his last shot at the presidency just so he can freaking help out and come with a nah, rational Bernie fucking 2024. plan. Bernie 2024, come on. Bernie 2024. Nah, I'm go. sorry. I don't know, man. I, I think that heart attack might be a sign of bad things to come. He might have this year or the next year, but I don't think so. Wait, you think he's going to die, like, now? <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. Like, him and, him and fucking RBGB, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, RBG, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, you know, they don't have long on this fucking earth. And I don't mean this in a mean-spirited or derogatory way. I'm just sort of like, I'm, I'm calling it as to see it. Yeah. You can hear this music, can't you? I keep seeing my square, square light up. Uh, I can't hear anything, but uh, um, okay, good. Are, are you done with your tweets or you have more? No, I think that's a good note to end on. All right, good, because my, the back of my neck is sweating like fucking crazy, and I need to go outside where it's cool. Like here in, in the laundry room, it gets kind of warm. So anyway, uh, Riley, where can they find you at? Well, you can find me on Twitter at RileyTweets. You can find me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash RileyStreams, where I'm currently in the process of streaming the whole Kingdom Hearts franchise. You nice. can find me... You can find me on Pokemon Variety Hour on Stitcher, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts. You can find me on Pixels, Polygons, and Fun, wherever podcasts are found. Any place you find a podcast, it's there. And finally, the Riley Podcast Mega Feed. Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. That's the most important one. Subscribe. I make a lot of podcasts on there. Stu a lot of good stuff, such as Largest Issue in the Galaxy, which all goes according to plan, as you heard in the cold open. It's going to be a pretty good one this week. Mm -hmm. I'm actually really, really looking forward to it. All right. Well, uh, this is pretty much the show. I'd like to thank you all for coming out and listening to us. I appreciate it. Uh, I've been adding up the numbers, and we're, we're fucking crushing it right now. We're averaging over like a, almost 100 listeners uh, through uh, BitChute, YouTube, and uh, Anchor.fm. Uh, all three of those sites are where you can find this podcast on and my YouTube channel has all sorts of new and cool content that you can check out I upload everything up to BitChute as well so that will be the YouTube alternative you can go check us out at anchor.fm we're on uh, I believe eight different platforms now through anchor.fm and uh, we're going to be getting our stuff to Riley here we're going to be on uh, all the Apple product stuff so yes, uh, do that <laughs> yeah Please. so so go ahead and do that and uh, you can check me out all also at twitch.tv slash mo diggity and uh, at happy good boy 420 on Twitter and mo diggity 42 on uh, Instagram. So thanks a lot for coming out. I appreciate it. And until next time, ta ta. Wow, we did the mo cast. Yay! Yay. <laughs>